Hey guys, it's me, Veronica. Welcome back to my channel today. G-Friend has released their first of many teasers. This is Tale of the Glass Bead Butterfly Effect. So it's technically like the sequel to that kind of like story narration from Labyrinth, but it's for Song of the Sirens. Um, and I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Their comeback is July 13th. Also, my birthday week so they, they they love me and I'm just really excited to watch it I don't know what to expect I know I would hope that they don't like recycle old music video again like I hope they have like new footage with their like awesome hair Shinbi has red hair but <laughs> yeah like always I don't have very many brain cells to theorize and connect the dots and read literature and connect more dots because honestly I'm really bad at theories I know that they exist but uh, it's it's not my forte. But yeah, so welcome everybody. We are going to watch Tale of the Glass Bead Butterfly Effect G Friends teaser for Song of the Sirens for the first time with me. Well, y you guys might have watched it already, but this is my this is my first uh, first teaser for G Friends comeback. Who? This is our story. Our story of when we ran, our hands clutched tightly together. Okay. Wait. 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 I, I feel like I recognize something because in the Labyrinth packaging they had this march in, so this like storybook with drawings and like this is very that aesthetic and I think there's going to be another march in, so like a sequel like notes book in uh, Song of the Sirens the album packaging so it probably relates to, to that somehow but I don't know I didn't read the translation I, 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 okay, I gotta do that but. Okay, so they had the crossroads. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to, I'm trying to process because I know the glass, the tail of the glass bead. It's not, it doesn't really have any music. Um, it's, it's just kind of like a story tell recap. So I'm trying to theorize, but. Um, um, so what I was seeing was the Crossroads outfit from Labyrinth. Um, you know, those socks and those old, like, fashion classic dress shoes. So definitely Labyrinth era. And then, what was the narration saying? Something about, like, being two paths or something. Literally at a Crossroads. So this is definitely Crossroads reference, but it's new footage. So I'm just, I'm happy about that. And there, darkness descended. Oh, it's Uma with black hair. But, we but it's a wig. It's a wig. We ran towards the blue light. Your butterfly? We knew we'd be together again when we reached that What light. is that? Oh, the, the box of butterflies and the glass bead from the box of butterflies from 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 Crossroads and from Fingertip. She's running. Everyone's up. She can be with my baby. She has a leather jacket. She kind of has that outfit going on from Time for the Moon Knight. They all kind of do. What's going on? Oh, 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 oh. This one. The, 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 um, the running in the forest. The very foggy, misty forest in a white dress. That screams sunrise. I'm not sure if they connected sunrise into the narrative, um, from the first Tale of the Glass Bead. Uh, I don't think they did, did they? But if anything, they're doing it now. Um, they're trying to connect Sunrise into the whole storyline. Um, I don't know. Wait, yeah, they did include it in the first Tale of the Glass Bead, right? I don't know, but this was definitely a Sunrise reference. Okay, that 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 shot, Yedin is just gorgeous. Like, damn girl, she's she's like platinum blonde, no bangs. She's got like a beautiful gown on. Like, she she she's serving. Wait, I've never seen this gown before. Like the other outfits were kind of references, like Crossroads, Sunrise, uh, like Time for the Moon Knight. Um, but this one is, this one, this one is, I don't think I've ever seen it. It's not even from the season greetings, but it gives off that vibe because 
well, not this year's season greetings, season greetings 2019, uh, where they were wearing very flowery gowns and like very Victorian era inspired. But this one is like a runaway bride. Like, what is going on? I'm so confused. And then a song floating through the darkness. Oh, Blondina. She wearing contacts. Oh, she's so pretty. She's hearing a voice. Like, ooh. Like, like. There was an apple. There was an apple. World peace. I'm not sure what they're trying to reference here. They're saying apple, they're showing one tree, she's all by herself. Is she in the Garden of Eden? Is she Eve? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. They're describing an apple, how it's just so juicy and like, it's great. But what does it have to do with everyone being lost? Okay, like is she the only one in like the Garden of Eden and then everyone else is just like shut out? Is, th is that? Uh, the theory but the glass bead has to relate to the story somehow and I don't know how that kind of involves anything oh my god I'm so confused is she gonna this take a bite? Story. This the story of a party at the fork in the road at the fork in the road now standing alone before a glimmering red apple glimmering red apple song of the sirens I I'm so confused. <laughs> when the first teaser, well, not the first video teaser, but when the first like teaser teaser dropped of like the schedule and like that this was the title of the album, um, Song of the Sirens, everyone was like, mermaid concept, including me. I was like, mermaid. I don't see any, I don't even see any water, which was kind of integral in um, starting this kind of mythical storyline about them gaining powers from a lake, which is a source of water. But here you don't see any water whatsoever, even though their album title is called Song of the Sirens, which is literally like mermaids in water who, who, who drown like sailors in the sea or whatever. Um, but there, there, what does sirens have to do with this. I know that the sirens, like siren call, maybe that's what Una is hearing, but where is the sirens? There's no water. She's not near like a lake. The, the tree that she's picking the apple off of isn't near a lake like in Love Whisper where the tree is near like a lake, but this tree is just in the middle of nowhere. And so where would the sirens be? And where is everyone? Where is everyone? Why are they running? Where are they running to? What are they running from? What is the sound going to be like for this comeback? We are, are clueless. We, we don't know. Um, hopefully I upload this before we do know. <laughs> because I'm really bad at uploading, but uh, if y'all have like theories to share, I would love to know because I, I can't connect any dots. I'm trying to connect the dots, but I can't even find the dots to connect. What did you guys think of Tale of the Glass Bead Butterfly Effect? Do your friends teaser for their Song of the Sirens comeback, which is July 13th, but I'm, I'm just really excited for their summer comeback. Summer comebacks from them usually mean upbeat bops. I'm an upbeat type of girl, um, and I just, I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't know what to expect, and I guess that's a good thing because they want to keep you on your toes, but uh, I would love to have a little bit of a sound bite, but that doesn't come until a few days before the comeback, I think. According to the scheduler, it's gonna take a while for them to tease the actual song. But anyways, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff, and I will see you guys in my next video, hopefully not too long from now. I'm, I'm really trying. I've got a new camera. I'm, I'm gonna try to make more stuff, so I'm just really bad at editing. Okay, bye!